Okay, well, it, uh, we'll call it five minutes after six. Call the um, Tuesday, January 23rd meeting of the select board the order. If we, um, so you all know if we get there and we get, well, need to finalize the budget, but we get through checking the, the budget. Yeah, not just the budget, but the recording budget. in progress. Um, and we get all that done expeditiously. We won't need to meet next week. Uh, incentive to get through this. You know, I know we love each other's company, right? Nothing, nothing we'd rather do on a Tuesday night. Well, I won't be here anyway. Well, that's right. You're right. When are you, when are you taking off? Wednesday. Me too. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you headed south? Yes. On a plane? No. No, that, that's right. They're driving down. So you're, you're flying? Yeah. To nice Domin airport. Dominican. Oh, okay. Yeah. I won't be here. No. <laughs> or yeah, I will be, but I'm not going to stay wicked late. Yeah. We got to leave at like 2 a.m. So. Next week. Yeah. Well, let's get it all done this week. Yeah. And nobody will have to be here. Yeah. More incentive. <laughs> Can you turn things down? Oh, okay. Let me see. Um, I don't want to go into this. Savannah's on her way. I don't want to go into dogs. Um, well, you guys are here. Are you Are you five? I don't, know. I don't know what we are. I didn't look. Justin, don't he'll tell you. Brian's here for the for the well, opening. You want to change your mind? <laughs> okay. The way we got paid, what you agreed to, isn't working with Jen and us, and it's just right. It's confusing. So we want to go back to the whole state of things. Yeah. So we are in complete agreement with you. I think. I think we. I think we, I think we even. I think we even voted on it last week. We. Yeah. <laughs> you said you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We said, let's go back to the sky. Did anybody tell Jen? Huh? Did anybody tell Jen? I think so. Well, yes, yes. You said we were going to talk about it. I I signed um, your thing for previous work. So. Because that was all last. The six months. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. that was, we said, okay, let's just, right. Besides being easier for Jen, it deals with the Krista issue. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. so, okay. but, but to memorialize it you'll get your travel pay separate right so your mileage will be claimed still but then you'll still get your stipend. yeah 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 she told me that and yeah. i got an email about that it's increase it's an increase or yeah. on my yeah, when, yeah when, i always drive because i get wicked car sick so <laughs> yeah may just if i was driving jenna <laughs> only if I can start four of the okay no, I, and, and we went to and, and and so you know we said the amount of the stipend and actually used part of what you had done because you said, you know, how do you know? And uh, we figured since we get seven fifty a year, you guys can get seven fifty a year. It was that philosophical. <laughs> and, he he and ran an exercise on the hours that somebody reported, and it, yes, it's literally matched run. almost. And it was that was going to be about what it came out to. Figuring your six months was an average six months on but, your twenty two hours you claimed or something like yeah. that. Um. But the 22 hours came to what? I can't remember what it came to. <laughs> or um, 17 hours. What was it? It was 20 hours an hour was the prior select board. Okay. Right. So whatever hours. And it didn't was, that total like, come to something like $600 or something? Something like that. Yeah. Oh, so that would have been way more than 20 hours because 20 times 20 is 400. Yeah. yeah. I think it so must have been. Well, whatever. Plus the, plus the mileage. That was just separate. Right. That's right. totally that was separate. separate. So but, we just, we went to 750 because. Because we were at, weren't we at 1600? 1600 is what was somebody had mentioned at one time. Right. That, right. Okay, we put that in the like, budget meeting. Somebody mentioned that one of the early budget meetings, 16 times three. But if I'm doing $600 for six months, 750 doesn't really cover that, does it? For a whole year? You know what? 750 is the number. <laughs> He's going, so what do you think we get paid? <laughs> <laughs> but you don't do the outside stuff that we have to do. Oh yeah, okay. I'm not arguing. No, 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 no I'm not. I'm just telling you that we just changed. Right. Whatever. Right. Right. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because we figured none of us is doing any of this stuff for the money. You know, maybe not. What's in the budget? Because it's going to take more than that amount of hours when we do the reappraisal. 
So we're going to have to relook at that then because there's grievances and there's right. going to be a lot of more time for that. So right. when that budget comes around, we'll stay, stay at your hours. Stay at your no, hours. No, no, no. It's already been a good work. But I'm just saying, once that grievance procedure, <laughs> Yeah, once well, you're right, you get something right. Oh, yeah, that. sure. When you do, but again, yeah. that's something that happens once in a while. So that's a different, yeah. it's like putting the money aside for the, to pay for a reappraisal. Right. right. That it's suddenly everybody's hours get, you know, you get kicked up into a, into a really busy, crazy time where everybody's unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, you know, you that? Nothing. He, he can hear. Um, yeah, we just can't hear him. Oh, yeah. it, sorry, did someone ask me a question? Yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah. Justin, I'm just curious if you were all right with that way that the select will have decided to do the 750 nearly. Uh, my opinion is it's not my call. I have real no opinion about it. Um, I can submit the average hours that I think the listeners may work, and then you folks come up with what you find appropriate from there. Yeah, as I say, with through reappraisal and when there's a lot of work, then that's a, you know, I think we probably just increase it or something. I guess. Do what? Doesn't they work? Well, they they do, but it's more it's more on us to. It's just a lot of work. I've been through. Oh, okay. right, right, and the, and all the grievances and yeah. everything else. Right, just right. That yeah. takes a lot of time. A huge amount. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, we don't do that that often. And I, I'm not on the agenda. Yeah, but I was going to say, right. Well, I don't know when, when you want me. I got a covert issue. Sure. And I have vision. Come, right. Come join us. Turn that, turn that mic around, Brian. Sorry. Yeah, sit there, right. <clears throat> That's change. why it's just the game here. So this covert was moved by Kenny probably, I'm guessing 11 or 12 years ago. Okay. Um, because where, tell me where you are. This is between our farm and my father's house. Gotcha. Um, this is where the culvert is now. Yep. This is where it was. Okay. He went to he dug up a two foot culvert, was going to replace it with three. Well, there was legs. He had to road all that. So for the time being, he moved moved it so he could get something in that day. Yep. Um, and I was kind of under the impression it was going to be moved back at some point, and I mentioned it to Mark. A couple of times that needed to be moved back, and I mentioned it to Ron because December that's what my pasture looked like because it's culvert. You'll start raising ducks. Yeah, it's uh, this is the original brook, it went in a straight line, never ever filled in. Well, now what happens is you can see in this picture when it rains hard, it washes all this gravel down and it gets the end of the culvert and it just spreads out. Yeah. And this was never ever a problem in the time that the road was built a hundred years ago. It was never an issue. Now it looks like that when we had the rain event. Can I see those? Yeah, yeah. And this is the ditch Kenny dug temporarily to the old ditch. This was the original, the col culvert originally was here and went the straight line. You can kind of see where it was. And this is where the culvert is now. And that's where it was. So he, he they turned it and it goes down the side of the road every time you get a rainstorm. Though all the towns had to fix it. I mean, it's cost money to fix it. They, they, it goes over the road and gets so a lot of debris. It was, they're going to have to. Your, your exit was further up. We'll say yeah, that would be almost east, west, right? Um, what they got, it'd, it'd be, be well, south. south. South, it would be south. Yeah. Comes out of the woods and takes a 90 degree. I see yeah. that. I see that. But what, yeah. what I'm saying is, it's the outlet. So if you're talking, putting it back here, is the outlet, was this skewed for to go to the same place as this or not? No. Okay. It went in a straight line. Okay. That, that's where the outlet was. Okay. And, and now, now it's over here. Now it's over here. And that's, that's the hard visual. Yeah. 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 And I, I called Rolly and he came up and looked at it before we had all this snow. So I just would like it back where it's supposed to be. So you're gonna to have to do what to get through the lot. I mean, if it's well, like a giant... I have to... well, there. I mean, there only really had one option. I don't know if it's an option. It's a possibility. Is it's still they'll build the road up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can go back quite a ways. Could be cheaper than blasting. Raise the road up enough to get over. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but also, it might be smart to bore it just to see how deep that ledge is. There was an existing culvert there? 
Yeah, yes. two, two footer. Two footer. There was a two footer. What's, what's there now? That's a three that they put in. And that's what they were going to put in its place. But then when Kenny dug it out, he hit the yeah, ledge and couldn't lower it. It's about a two foot work originally. So just I'm just talking out loud and don't don't judge me too hard. But why can't we just put a two footer and then leave the three footer as a fail safe if we get a lot of rain? Because and he could lower you could lower the ditch so that if his, it does back it's up. It's his pasture just getting flooded. That's what he wants. Yeah, but it's it, a natural brook down through. Yeah, what I'm saying is it's not going to flood it. We'll use the two foot. The two footer would take any any. It would only be like a massive rain that would they would yeah, ever yeah. use. But I wouldn't think I wouldn't think it would. If it always used a two footer before, it should take a two footer. Yeah, except for our weather's changed some. Yeah, 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 agreed. And don't forget what's happened when I left your place. All the friggin' land that's been cut above you, yeah, and developed. That's where all the water's coming from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they're every every year. I mean, what they look what they've done to that pit in there. Okay. Holy shit. I couldn't believe it when I see that pit. Okay. We'll get put it on the market. So that's, look at it. that's a couple Come up with ideas. It. Either, either yeah. bore it to what see how deep that ledge is. To, I don't know if we can keep the use of No, I'm putting it when you've got one. Even even a test, even a test hole when I mean it'd be pretty cheap to bring right. an excavator up in the spring. But or, even, or even the back. That's what just, I'm saying. Run a test a, hole. a couple of test pits. Legally. No, I don't know. Did you ever get a hole here? No. I never got a hole. Legally, you can't move that that culvert anyway. Because anything that runs water more than 10 days a year is considered a brook, right? But also it was illegal moving in the first place. Yeah. So if you want to stir that yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's <laughs> Chris Bunnell will tell us that. No, he didn't get a chance to yeah. get old. No, we'll just we'll just talk to Martin. Well, and keep those. Okay, right. See. I don't think we're changing the the stream. Alignment. It's that, up in the same same, that's what I mean. You're not changing the aquatic characteristics. But it's a lot better. Well, it's not like starting to get the stream now. It's like you said, it would be better if when you will so, ditch down through there. You said. Yeah. Why why did they decide to move it in the first place? Because of ledge. They they yeah, want the bigger the, the it was all rotted out. Okay. That's that's the they point. went to replace it. They dug it all out. Man. And they, I, I and they were going to dig deeper, and they so, said, "Oops, we can't." And why did we go to replace it? Because oh, it was Cause, no, because it was rotten. No, oh yeah, why did you replace yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the original yeah. culvert was rotten, yeah. and, 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 and the they policy. had to do something that day because roads all yeah, out. yeah, right, right. No, the policy like is when you change culverts now, you have size in two sizes. Yeah, well, that that was a number of years ago, though. Well, that's so today. I know, I know that's today, but this was replaced. Yeah, right. I, 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 it was before I was on the select board. I got on the select board in 2011. So it was either 2009 or 10. It was 9 or 10. Yeah. And stuff. Only 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we will definitely. Okay, thank you. So, what, 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 before you leave, what, what you're looking to have results or having, you just want. I would like it back for a ditch. Well, so I'm obviously, obviously, we're not digging tomorrow, right? I mean, right, so, right. but we will put it. We'll, we'll put it on Mark. We'll put Mark well, on the agenda. We come up with a plan to figure yes, out. Yes, at least, yeah. And it will be yeah, persuaded yeah. to Mark that we need to address this situation. Brian, agree. Wait, spring anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just don't want Brian here next February saying WTF. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm starting it. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we got a new Smart people in and out, so that's why I just want to make. I mean, obviously, Ron, and we give him, we got this new guy coming in, so I, I just want to make sure we're putting this on, right. like, in the future agendas with, with Brian Sheets. I'm hoping that's one of the things we can say, like, you know, we can keep a, a running track of... Right. You do that already. Yeah. We, like, yeah. The task list is there if you're yeah. applying exactly. that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of things I'm done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just use the role. So. It's all up to you to keep moving. Them. There it is. <laughs> Back to you, buddy. Well, I'm thinking once a month, maybe maybe I'll throw those out there at me, you know? Like, well, well, no, no. Just pull one. Yeah. Just pull, you know, that's really how you do a task list. Right. You pull one yeah. and focus on it. Right. If you pull three, four, five, six... Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Just the list once a month and say, hey, where, how far out is it and what's priority, you know? So we yeah. can, let's so that's, that's one of those lists that we've been talking about with Mark and how we prioritize all that stuff. Well, yeah, we, Mark should have his own, but yes. I know that you guys have your own from Correct. prior minutes. Yep. But they might be different than Highway. Right. Okay. Thank, okay. You. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Brian. Brian. Okay. okay. And see, so we have Allie. <clears throat>
<clears throat> so the uh, the time cost for fostering dogs while waiting for adoptive family rescue agencies. Is there is there literature on this? This must be something Ali sent to us. Uh, it's an invoice. I think that's in the warrant. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah. Is this your pile? <laughs> See if I can find yeah. it. Yeah, this is. Allie, unmute yourself, please. It's a reimbursement to Allie. Yeah. Hey, Susan. Hey, there you go. Okay, now we can hear you. So why don't why don't you give us a little a little background on I where can I see it? I don't have very good service at home, so you might Okay, can you can you hear us okay? Yeah, I can hear you. It's just okay. it's because of the Wi-Fi up in my area. But anyways, um that bill that you have in front of you is an is there another file? Yeah, just this, this second. Seems that maybe in that file. When we're Moose was first vaccinated. In our files. Do you remember what it was for? We'll find it. It was or for her I, shots. No, I don't no, no. What was, the, what was the number on the back? This one right here? Oh, oh no, those ones over there. It's not there. Okay. Oh, Kim, Kim should have it. Alphabetical. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Maybe, uh... No, here. It's alphabetical. So it should be. This is. All payroll stuff. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a mail. Yeah. Where did the find it? Find it. Should be right here. That. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, go just go ahead and explain it so people can help you too. It's a uh, hundred forty-three dollars and twenty-six cents. Yeah, it was just for Moose's vaccinations because she came in as a surrender. We weren't sure if she was vaccinated. So I had to have her vaccinated before bringing her home. Right. Okay. And that that's it. That's all it was for. There was two bills. That was the second bill. I don't know why I didn't get sent to you guys because the vets should have sent it to you. Um and then it just went unpaid. I have not paid that. So it's not a reimbursement to me. I've already cleared that with Jen. Okay. That's so, it's in there. Just for just for clarification for me, why why is this an action item? Like feels like we we sign the warrants all the time on something this big. Well, I think you're just letting us know because it's, oh. we don't usually see that sort of thing. So okay. the, and and as we are working towards because ah. I didn't put it in as an action item, just yeah, FYI. No, no, I know. I just, we had to, right. I just wondered, just for ours, I didn't, I, um, I'm learning too, now, just still learning. <laughs> um, so is, there, is, there not a, is there not a budget for it? Is that kind of why? Uh, no, usually what happens with animal care, the town, when the dog's picked up or dropped off or roadside yeah. or injured, right. uh, the town will do the initial vet cleanup. Yeah. Porcupine, whatever. Yeah. After that is when these recurring costs may continue. Yeah. And the practice of the town has been to disconnect, get a rescue, get somebody to adopt, and, and the dog moves with its costs. In this case, Allie was uh, sort of the only option because these other agencies weren't going to take right. the dog. Yep. The dog has recurring costs. Allie's serving as a, a, a de facto foster service. Mm -hmm. trying to place the dog but it's been going on long enough that there's costs associated with that so what's the town's role when we don't have a good option for this searching for family period so yes no, normal 143 totally in the budget purchase services right. pay be done with that so the question on the agenda is what about after you know what what, what but it's in our town policy that we do the initial we have to do this right do the initial yeah. and we're supposed to place it in a, a kennel uh shelter or adopt or euthanize that's really the only option you have okay follow the policy by the town so i'll make a motion to approve the 143 dollars okay all in favor signify by saying aye 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 anybody oppose anybody? i think there's that's a check to the to the vet. So, right, yeah. Okay. Vet, yeah. So make sure that didn't get mixed up with reimbursement. No. Well, and and it's um Allie, in terms of conversations with the uh with the folks up at the kennel, how was that? Because I think we're waiting to get 
estimates from them about what it costs to rehab for us to do our thing up there? Uh, so yeah, I have quotes back from, from Borns. I had sent those over to Savannah, but I know she's not there tonight. Um, I can forward those to Ron, uh, so he can read those off to you right now, if you'd like. Um, local electric is coming out tomorrow to give a quote because there's some outlets that need to be <laughs> moved. Um, some that need to be installed. Uh, Matt did hit, not this Matt, but Matt Reed. Is that right? Uh, oh. did his, yeah, he did his thing up there. I think Savannah has that yeah. as well. Okay. Um, and really that's all I've got so far. Okay. Okay. Just so, so I'll send those over to Ron right now. Okay. Again, I'm not, I'm just curious, making sure that that's moving along because it's it's on the list to make sure that things get done. And we it scares me. I think it's going to blow our budget, but that's just my thought. I know you guys keep staying. Um. Away. Well. Go ahead. Well. Yeah, I, I don't know what you guys had set for a budget for like the improvement part, but um, I was also wondering if you wanted multiple quotes versus just you know like one from Barnes and nowhere else yeah it always helps to have multiple quotes okay perfect i will set that up as well <laughs> thank you okay um anything else we should know ali right now Uh, not, not that I know of. I like I said, I don't have any new information other than what I just relayed. Um, I don't know what Savannah has gotten. We've chatted a little bit, but not too much. Um, Betsy was going to work on a, you know, like a more formal uh, proposal, um, right. and their lawyer was, you know, was going to draw up something as well. Um, as far as I know, Savannah was going to try to draft something uh, for like proposals to the area towns. Um, and Ron had sent us an email the other day asking for some other information as well. So I'm working on my end. Hopefully Savannah's working on her end and then we can kind of get together and get it done. Okay. And we're drafting up sort of like a, um, a policy that all the towns would just like we're doing with the interlocal assessors and doing the same sort of thing with the for a town. So if, a, if another town wants in and wants to bring any dogs there, they can either they can either buy into it or we can charge them per dog. <laughs> That's it. We're all we'll be right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. I think I think that's it, Ali. As, oh, as, as anyone communicated with Jen on cost and all this stuff, as it, I would assume this would be something we would. Well, um, we don't... Not sure yet. So it's early. To... It is early. It's, it's early, but there's there's two main components. One is the renovation of the building, which Allie was just talking about to make right. it usable. Mm -hmm. And then whatever the property owner comes up for a lease agreement, which so far they've said 25,000 a year. year. Mm -hmm. And that right now, what you have in your budget is anticipating five towns. Yeah. So there's 5,000 in this budget to for that lease payment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what's unknown is everything else. And how many towns? How many yeah. towns? Uh, they said they were serving 16 towns before yeah. they stopped. Okay. So five seemed doable. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. For the mayor, for the yeah, that's right. To make sure, yeah, but we need to have a plan to present the other yeah. select boards, right. yep, right. And as I said, I think part of that is having here's an agreement that you sign, and here's what it's cost, and here's the you know, here's how it works, yep. And and thank you, Allie, for your continued service, Savannah. Yeah, no problem. If you guys want, if you guys want the numbers real quick, um, oh. the the okay. propane heater was quoted for 41. 160 so four thousand one hundred sixty dollars for that um and then the heat pump 
was the more costly one, but you have to remember this is for a 24,000 BTU and it does heating and cooling and you'll get a rebate from Efficiency Vermont and that was quoted at uh, 7,235. Those things are going up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's a commercial model. Just so you know, it's not a residential model. <laughs> Don't think so. I think that is installed. That was installed, right, Alec? Yeah. Yeah, that was everything. That was for the unit, the installation, labor, everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Savannah, you got anything you want to throw in? We're just sort of getting caught up not into the details. Yep, I just got the um, note from Matt Reed the other day, uh, yesterday, with the list of suggestions and the drawings. So, <laughs> I bet. Okay, <laughs> okay, we can. That, that can be a. Uh, again, this is getting us through the budget and the warning, and yeah, we can. Get in, get into dog kennels and depths in February. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Justin. Justin, board clerk compensation. Justin, how are you? How's that new baby? How's the family doing? Doing great. Uh, my little guy right here next to me. Oh, okay. Taking a nap. They're all. You might hear a scream here at any moment. So just kind of put that out there as a disclaimer. But we'll yeah. So we have on the uh, board clerk compensation. Yeah. So that's on there to talk with you folks about my compensation, um, hourly rate benefits. I currently receive no benefits through the town of Hyde Park. And my hour... In my opinion, based on conversation, my hourly wage hasn't been adjusted to reflect the lack of benefits thereof. And I'd like to talk with you folks about that, how um, to obtain equity within my wage. Okay. Um, open to suggestions and how the select board would like to continue with that, whether it may be an increase, like a increase an hourly wage for lack of benefits, or if you want to create a policy for prorated benefits or anything in between. Right, I think. I bring this up because through the other towns, I received benefits and um, in Hyde Park, I know we've, some of it, I think, will be more of this executive session. For, okay. For relative, okay. But, um, well, yeah. Why don't, and, and again, what will be helpful if we can have beforehand so we know what other towns are 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 doing and paying all that sort of stuff. And then um, and then I, I think you're right. Yeah, we can, we can sit down and look at it, figure it out from there. I don't mind saying on public record the town of St. George, I received 40, a total of 45 hours a year for paid time off. Um, and I may have an hourly wage of $30 an hour. No other benefits. On, on average, I work there 10 hours a week up to 20. 20. Okay. Yeah. What what will be helpful for us is just to have Johnson and have all of the towns written down and then we can um instead of trying to hold it in my brain, which is never a good plan. <laughs> so so if you can do that for us now, when when are you back? Back next week. Okay. okay. We can again, hopefully we won't be we want to do it on well, we should do it at the talk about it at the next select board meeting. But if we have all the information before, so we'll know. Um, yeah, can have a conversation about it. 
Yeah, absolutely. For the February meeting? Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, does that work? Anything else? That works. Yep, that works for me. Okay. And I don't know if you want me to stick around for the next agenda item as well for the tax rate I was, increase. I was going to say, yeah, you might we'll do that because Kim's here too. We'll um yeah, we got both both the, the budget projected tax rate and the 26 reappraisal. Yeah, let's get an update on that. Yeah. Come on, come on up, Kim. Oh, I I'm trying to find it. <laughs> okay. I haven't actually seen it. Ron just gave it to me right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we haven't seen it. I haven't seen much on reappraisal either. Justin, were you doing reappraisal RFP <clears throat> update or cost estimates? What's what's exactly going on now? And so I did the draft RFP. And then I received your comments back. So I've put your comments onto the RFP, but I haven't formatted it to include those comments. Um, you mentioned concern with the last reappraisal of not having a clear scope of work for what the listers will be doing and what Nimric will be doing. So it sounds like in the RFP, we want to clarify more of the responsibilities of each party. Is that my understanding? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying your baby brother? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe him? <laughs> So, yep. Okay. Hi. Um. So for the next, I anticipate having the draft version completed or updated Friday night. Okay. Or cost. Um. I've heard anywhere from a hundred to hundred thirty per parcel on average. Okay, so how many how many parcels in Hyde Park? Nope, the we had missed. <clears throat> Quite a few. Yeah. yeah. Quite a few. Yeah, that's fine. My guess would be like 34. I think it's closer to like 14, 15, though. Yeah, yeah, about 16. Yeah. Because some of the parcels are combined on the tax bill when they send out you could that's okay. Yeah. Maybe if there's individual parcels, it might be. Yeah. Like, yeah, on your taxation. Yeah. Okay. You're safe. So 16. That'd be a safe number. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. 16 times. A lot. Uh, 1,512. <laughs> what was that? 15? 15? 1,512 parcels. That's one hundred and fifty-one thousand. If you're on the low number, right? One hundred and eighty thousand if you're on the high number, right? Well, that's more by about twenty thousand than the last one was. Yeah. And we're short on what? What we have a reserve for that, right? We start having that's ah. ah. It's happening too fast. Hey, then, yeah, I thought that. That's what I'm saying. We're state, we're, the state funding is based on old numbers for cost mm -hmm. and a 10 year cycle. So you're shortening it up to a seven year cycle. Seven. No, I think it's 16. So it'll be eight year cycle. 2026 being the estimated <laughs> expense date, mm -hmm. uh, which gives you this year. <laughs> Net 114,000 and next year, three years, four years, at about 17. So you have about 50 something coming in with about 114 now. So you'd be up around 180 if you're lucky well, on a $200,000 bill. Yeah. And then you want to get a contract at the 100 right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2,000 would be 200,000. 
Depending on the firms, I know Nimric is isn't available until at least twenty twenty eight right now. Well, we can sign the contract now. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. So. If you get it fixed, that'd be better. Fix price. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if they'll do that. But... Anyway, well, so I... what it, whatever it is, it is, and the quicker we can see what it is, the better we can plan. I guess. Yeah. Again, with the amount of time it's taking. This is one of those with a little luck. It is further out, so we'll have plenty of money coming in to pay for it. Yeah, the, the time frame is only going to get longer because more and more towns are slipping out of compliance. Yeah, everybody is right. Anyway. Okay. Well. So it's not an action item right now, right? This is this is something we're going to have a discussion. I think we'll see a draft in February thirteenth. Is what Justin said. Okay. I can send it out prior to then, but yeah, for an action item for February 13th. I feel exactly the same. <laughs> Who's going to repeat that? <laughs> I'm rolling. That's a motion. I'll second it. <laughs> um, okay, the... the uh, oh. The budget and the projected tax rate. I guess now. Um. Okay, a little more quiet now. So, yeah. the tax rate increase. Well, not tax rate increase, but the grand list increase. I should say. So, last year we saw an increase of one point zero one five percent. And this coming year, 2024 grand list, we're already at 1% um, with the changes I've made so far, and I have only made maybe a fifth of them. So I would imagine that we'll see at least a 2% increase. Okay. I'll have a better idea closer to the end of February. Okay. Certainly helps. <clears throat> okay, are we ready to, Kim, do you need, or are we ready to delve into the budget? So I, this is Ron's document, this is my first time seeing it tonight, I guess. so um, I just was looking at the rates and the um, grand list compared to what, you know, the, what the rates were last year. Um, but of course, you know, these are all projected and everything mm -hmm. changed when we set the rate in June. No. The yeah. end of June. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But last year, looking at this, I don't know if Ron put on here because sometimes he does. Last year's um, tax rate, municipal tax rate was 0. 0.9264. So it was nine two it was nine two six four, then you had a bed exemption, I think. So I, the number I had for last year was nine three oh three with the veteran the exemption. Yeah. Oh, you mean the sorry, the zero zero three nine? Yeah. Where, yes. where are you reading this number? Can someone enlighten me? Oh, it's on this. You're right. The, pro, the projection page. Yes. We just oh, okay. We're trying to make sure if you look about halfway down, just yep. above yep. the history, you'll see zero four six eight. Yep, that's your four point six eight pennies. Yep, over last year's rate. So yep. Kim and I are just talking about make sure that's a good. Thing. If that's a good number, then your percentage of five hundred three is correct. So that's all. So we're just checking numbers basically. So yep. when you go to, you know, neighbors talk or. You, Grocery store talk. How many pennies is your going up? Say four and a half. Yeah. Well, how much the tax rate going up? Five. What's your budget going up? Eight point or seven point eight. You know, you have yeah. those three or four numbers are what you usually ask as a select board member. So if you want to have those, some people only ask for the tax rate increase because that's your bill. And that's that's currently five percent. Five point zero. You know what I mean? We got down to five percent from what's 
from last meeting? I thought we were at last meeting was eight and a half. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, and I thought you we guys were, we're, at five, oh, right, right. we're at 5.3. Five oh. I didn't think we landed there at that. I yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, five point oh. But you had a lot of changes to make. Yeah. Uh, Jen had a list of things that I some most of them I made the corrections and formula changes. Yeah. And I saw that part of that was making a reserve for pavement so that that kind of that's on, that's on the warning. Right. Yeah, that's a yeah. that's your only article that's out. Yeah. Oh. Unusual, I guess, not not the standard one. The rest are all standard articles. So you you want to run run us yeah we can, the, we can just the sort of the yeah we finished the first page really the summary of changes in the middle of the first page uh, which is your tax rate projection page. Those are just simply pulled from the budget. Three thousand dollars or more in the threshold, so we don't list fifty dollar changes. You can put anything you want in that summary, and this is actually printed in the town report for people, so they can see this. And the mm -hmm. next page is your revenue page, which is a one pager, and then there's I think five pages of expense budget. So, totally up to you how you want to present that first page. Uh, nobody's had any suggestions for years. <laughs> Once we came to this kind of summary, it's been a, it's just repeated every year with new numbers. Well, it makes sense to the taxpayers when they look at this. Yeah, it's very easy for them to understand. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of people. We run with it together years ago, and yeah. I had a lot of people comment that they like this. Right. So that's assuming there's no changes there. We can go to the revenue page. Again, you know, look at that far right column and you'll see what the main problem is with a whole bunch of zeros and negatives and one big number, uh, $80,000 from the unassigned fund balance. Mm -hmm. uh, that number is about 3% on your tax rate. So if you were to- 80,000. If you were to say, I don't want to use 80,000, I want to go zero and we're going to bite the bullet then you're back at 8% something. If you say, we know we're going to have unassigned fund balance, which we do, we'll slide, return the money. I think you were talking about the last right. week. Yeah. So this is a part of that, is yeah. returning yeah. some of the money. So one of the things we talked about with ARPA last week was basically pushing the ARPA to the unassigned fund balance, and then that allows us to work out of that account. And like I was saying last week, instead of doing more projects, it seems like it. this is more diversifies and goes back to the taxpayer better if it's a unassigned use funds funds, you know. So I haven't kept up on the uses of ARPA. Is that something that is a use of ARPA that they make enough changes that they can do that? Uh there's a couple things and <clears throat> I look at this. There's a couple things that are happening. So the town always has unassigned fund balance. Like right. we're always yeah. in 15% right. plus or minus a revenue. But we can allocate we're we're gonna this allocate 80 to this yeah. Right. If you just set aside ARPA, yeah. this 80 can come from that unassigned. traditional. Yeah. Unassigned. Yeah. If you add ARPA, you're going to have a super inflated June 30 on sign, which generates its own concerns because right. you, you you could be over the 20% threshold of my policy. So you take it out of ARPA when you need it. Right now, we have the option of doing it now, which we've been doing because some over 100,000 has been spent on projects yeah. already. Yeah. So we're down to 500 something. There's gonna be there is a need to allocate all of that by December 31st. You have to decide what you're gonna do of this year. Yeah, of this year. Right. Which I keep forgetting it's already this year. But there's a whole there's a whole meeting of discussion on that at some point, probably with the new board when the new yeah. board comes and, in. But we yeah. can we yeah. can spend the money on so if there's money. Yeah, there's my FEMA money. Like basically, we haven't received our FEMA funding, so we can spend it on those projects, and then when we receive the FEMA funding, we can go back to pay it back. Yeah, essentially, it would pay our town back. So our, uh, pay back our unassigned fund. Yeah, the the FEMA money was borrowed from town town money. We didn't we didn't have to borrow for Centerville Road. We yeah. used town funds. Now we have to put that back with the right. with the grant reimbursement. And that will kind of level up your unassigned there too. So you have like three things all converging right. on the unassigned fund balance. The only thing keeping control of that, to your point, is the fund balance policy, right. which is the goal of 10% to 20% of revenue held uh, for rainy day type stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you're faced with over 20%, 
the board has to talk about that. Return, use special projects, allocate the reserve, whatever you whatever your choices are. You meet at need, I think, just to get through town meeting day. Yeah. Getting the budget just, done, right. you know, focusing on the mm -hmm. next day. And, and then we can move the money and then yeah. Decide how we want to spend it. Yeah. Again, I'm I'm the, the looking at looking at a couple of giant expenses that we know we have coming. Mm -hmm. And we know that we're never able to put as much money into the the equipment reserves again could be an opportunity now assuming we'll get the pavement reserves set up to put some money in the pavement pavement reserve so just to be able to mm -hmm. again i think take that money there are some other small projects that you know folks with our have asked to do and and we might want to consider that but i get i think i think the bulk of it going into things that are generally larger for the taxpayers gets it spread Pretty evenly over time helps everybody. And it really is a form of tax relief. I mean, the more money we can have saved to buy a grader, the less money we have to borrow. So you know, that's a that's a plus for taxpayers when we when we don't have to borrow at terrible current interest rates. But so can I ask a quick question about the eighty thousand? So in the past we have done this. Um so what's the impact, hypothetically, of the year after this, so FY26, if we don't have something in there, is that going to basically, like, you go would, yeah, you, your, your increase to the budget? You or try and find savings? To no, you, well, yeah, I mean, you'll move that to two and a half or three percent increase to next 26. Right. Right. Or and what it is is you take the growth and you spread it out a couple of years instead of yeah. I think the last time we did it, we phased out that amount as well. It took right. it took a couple of years. Yes. Yeah. So we didn't go eighty to zero. It was like eighty forty zero. And that's my concern, which is why I was asking. Yeah, right. that, that, that number kind of matches our our new employee rates which in my mind. You know, I don't yeah. guess in the next couple of years, adding more growth and more employee positions, we've we've added that that basically is the new salary. Between the new town so, garage man and our new, it's a new level zoning. It's, right. I think it's kind of that same number. You know, that's the way I look at it. You know, kind of thing. Yeah. Can I just say simple? Yeah, it's a simple way. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of it makes it simple. Yeah. So it's again, if and again, because we have that money and we can, it just has to be committed by next. Well, if we move it, so it's it's eighty this year and the next year it's forty and again that just gives us a. It gives us a couple of years slide into paying for it without without getting the bill all at once. So that's like I said, a whole bunch of zeros, a few negatives on revenue, but overall, it's if you didn't have the eighty thousand in there. So just one last thing on revenue: the new revenue needed to operate. Compared to 24 is 236,340. That's the bottom line. That's your new revenue that you need to run the 25 budget. 145,000 or so is new taxes. 80,000 is that big reserve. So you're all the other line items, all the other revenue sources really don't help. So if there's any ideas about how to increase non property tax revenue, some people have gone to the one percent sales tax on Dan Keene's vehicles, right? But auto is exempt under that law, by the way. <laughs> so you'd be charging. I don't even know who. I don't even know what. There's a way to project how much Hyde Park would get from the one percent sales tax. Yeah, we don't. It's it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough without the auto. <clears throat> there is there is a bunch. We're not that far off. If you look, if we take all the small business that do business plus a couple bigger. We're not that we're not a desert of commercial mm -hmm. revenue, but it's still when it, I think I did once, it was like 30 or 40,000 a year to generate that whole recording program, stopped, which isn't that I personally like the idea that we do still have some small business here, and I don't want to reprimand them for having business here. Yeah. Our neighbor in town doesn't do recording it. in progress, it's too easy for them to just jump ship to go to the next town and bring them more revenue, right? right. And I, I think know. that that's you know, for big communities. 
communities like Williston are yeah. or so yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're not going they're, anywhere. Yeah. Right. It makes right. perfect it makes perfect sense. But right? I mean the one person, person I think that. about is right here. We finally got a nice little decent little shop here, you know, the two brother, two oh, sons yeah. bakery, you know, just to add another one percent to him seems right. He may be exempted to it. Yeah, it's, it's just not it's yeah. it's not worth the aggravation. I don't no. think at this point. Much better, but not have it. So I don't. I think the purpose for that is it gets spread throughout your consumer. You know, and it's people who travel. And I don't think we're a massive tourist town. I don't think it's, or I don't think we're a massive. I think you only get to keep sixty percent. Forty percent goes to the state school. Yeah, of your one percent. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. So I think it would just cost the town people more money than it would, you know, because when you do that, it's about people traveling to you and you're basically getting more money to your town based on other people coming to your town. Right. So it's a benefit to your town people. Yeah. Will, I don't think, Williston is a great example. Correct. And I don't I don't think we have that here. I think it's gonna be your local mechanic mom and pop shop that right. we're all getting our cars fixed at, so we're just gonna hammer ourselves an extra one percent. Yeah. 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 Keep a little bit of New Hampshire here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So that's it for revenue. Now the expense page, uh, again, it's really fueled by departments sending things in. A lot of departments requested funds that were not amended at all. Uh, highway is the most amended. Uh, a lot of the other ones were based on actual expenses and tweaking those as things go. Jen looked at a lot of actuals over the last couple of years and some current contracts to you know project next year. So there's changes throughout um, you know, hundreds here and there kind of thing, which is good. Oh, I'm trying to get to real costs versus, you know, maybe inflated cost. So, you know, usually if a taxpayer is looking at general government, they're going to jump to the bottom line, right? And you have a huge, relatively huge 26.07% increase in expenses. It's really attributed to the top two sections, wages and benefits. So out of the you know hundred and twenty three thousand dollars more, hundred and eleven is in wages and benefits. It's that the two new employees. Yeah, that, it's just it's just you know it's it's the end of the restructuring or deck chair moving and and getting different positions in and here. adding a fifth man. You know, and it'll be. Any. And it will be, like you said, done. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no other ideas out there that I've heard of yet, other than better office space because it, it's kind of squished. <laughs> so that's that's. I, I don't know what to do with that at this. You know, it's almost like the, it's a little bit like the school budget. Right. You know, you take away employee wages and benefits, and then you're looking at cutting pencil orders out. You know, he's, there's not a lot left to do in the general administration except cut services. But all these services that down here are, I, I, I don't, they're not even things you can cut. You're going to stop mowing the lawn. You know, those are kind of the questions that you're talking about. You're not going to produce the town report. You're not going to pay the outside auditor. You're not going to pay the town attorney. You know, those are all things that are mm -hmm. functioning governmental expenses that, uh, really hard to knock out. You could do it at the risk of upsetting taxpayers or raising your risk assessment for liability, but I wouldn't advise doing any of that, obviously. Any ideas on 
general government. <laughs> So can I ask a question? Sure. Wait. I was here last year for the budget process and the co-file lease went from 2100 to 2500 and back down to 2100 or is being proposed. Do you remember why it was increased by 400? Oh, I, I think that was, if, if it wasn't just rounding up, it was not knowing. So it increases a little inflation type thing. But if it's a fixed, if it's fixed at 21, that's good. You know, yeah. but if it if it, okay. if it needs to deal with inflation, then just kind of round it up a little bit, I think was the only idea. It wasn't, a, wasn't based on evidence, so to speak. Like there wasn't a new co-file agreement floating around. Yeah. No. Healthcare just gets everybody better. So did that go up because of the new employee, or is that also a combination of the health savings account? Uh, it's health health savings look like it reduced a little bit, and then there's a twelve and a half on the rate. Oh. So it's kind of a combination of a big rate increase plus some savings by this is the health benefit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a combination of going up, but then coming down a little bit because the plan cost went down on two employees. Yeah, and there was, there's also the new increase too, right? The new tax increase. That's payroll expenses, yeah. yeah. That's, that's in there at uh, the 0.44. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only other cut that I really see in this budget is something we got to talk about eventually. We still talk about is legality is is the water bill. That, I mean, that's still something, it's still an option tonight. It's hitting us, hitting us three different ways in this town. Yeah. And, and we've had, I figured those conversations just we get through this and get to, yeah. get to February. Get, we had an extensive conversation with the village about it. And you gotta remember they haven't finished their system. They gotta go out and do another whole big piece and do another big bond. Oh, oh they yeah. gotta do Centerville. Yeah. Centerville or whatever. Well, they got they gotta do that. They gotta build a new reservoir and yeah. even they aren't finished with everything in the village. So there uh, will be another uh, walls given the way up there to the reservoir. Uh they they had a sizing and a roof problem. They had two problems up there. They had the sizing, or sizing for fire capacity, and then they had a roof failure or what's the issue. The two two things that are failing. I think so I've heard something. Up there. That's the repair you're referring to is the roof. I think it's they inspected all the well house roofs in Vermont, and they came up with you know shingle missing, vent not right. That kind of stuff. Yeah, this is they have to put in a whole new reservoir. The bigger one is the replacement of the reservoir, which is not even on this discussion yet. They have to immediately seal up the roof somehow, and then do something with the reservoir again after that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's a bigger conversation. Yeah. Plus, plus the again that we have been going on, so let's just get get through the budget and that process. But of course, talk with them, and now we have rent, and we have no place to put it. <laughs> oh, we don't have any room. I mean, sorry. Talk with the village, and they on their list this year is finding a new place to live. And uh, we can get into all this, all this stuff in February and stuff. We're going to squish everybody in. The, uh, well, we had a crazy one. The church just got a water bill, which had been fine, and suddenly they just got a $20,000 bill. 
I said, I think you might want to call. There may be a mistake there since it's been all right before. I mean, they've been, they're sort of seem like the library, but twice I said no, it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> no, I don't know. They're still, they're still checking in. I said, oh, yes, you know, you, you made, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Bad <I> leak. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think. So if we're done with that yeah. for now, general yeah. gov goes to highway. Highway is at 5.81%. 5.81? .81. Yeah, 67,000 more than last year. Overall, 1.2 million. And a couple of things happening there. We talked about last meeting. One is flatlining paving at uh, 215 uh, versus a plan to try to get to 300,000 within the budget. That's where the special article for warning is added uh, to jumpstart that and get it on the 300,000 at 315 if the 100,000 is approved. Uh, Jen had a question about uh, March being a better time to project and estimate the 100,000 as far as the unassigned fund balance money. Oh, yeah. And I said, yeah, keep looking at it for the next six weeks. Uh, get your projections done. She started looking for June 30 wage issues and all that business. If the town's unassigned fund balance is gonna be sufficient, she may come in with justifying changing that from the floor. Up or down. She thinks at this point it could be up. Like, why only a hundred if you really try and get at paving? Right, right. And I said, I I think hundred was a number that we think we have. And we're all using eighty already, right, for the tax rate, and then we're using a hundred for paving. Generally, we're running it at least three hundred and fifty without ARPA and without FEMA money coming back. So. 100 felt like an easy number, but she said, and she asked, you know, can we do that amendment from the floor? And I said, that is that article voted from the floor. So yes, it can be amended. But people would need to know why, mm -hmm. you know, and, and have a good punch list of why that would be amended. Right. It, it can go either way, but I, I think it will be up, if anything, um, I think as, nice. as more weeks go by. Right. That'd be we'll, nice. So uh, if that reserve is approved, then the board has a 20 FY26 decision to make, which is do you take the 215 that's in at that point it'll be 2015 budget and put it to zero and put the 215 plus whatever else in the 26. appropriation 26, 26 line with the other capital reserve. Mm -hmm. And you run all paving through that one account now. That's a separate reserve account, so it doesn't affect the highway operating budget. It's mm -hmm. going to be run through capital right. reserve. It also gets us into a grant year, maybe, right? Yep, grants would go in, and grants would match would come out. Yeah, all that stuff would be running outside of the general fund, which it sort of does now anyway. I mean, if we got a if we had a three hundred thousand dollar project and a hundred and fifty thousand dollar grant with one hundred and fifty thousand in the budget, mm -hmm. we dip into the unassigned during the project. And then we get the grant reimbursement to put it back. So we're sort of doing the same thing, except that volatility and big numbers would be moved to a reserve. Mm -hmm. So try to pair the operating budget to operating, you know, daily kind of stuff and wages and things. So that's what would happen if it gets approved. It if it doesn't get approved, then the 215 stays and you really are behind the ball on paving because you really, you need to be around 300 based on your road mileage. Right. Even to even to keep up with it, this is just paint. Is not. Well, I can't see any reason why people wouldn't approve it. And, and again, ultimately operating it that way because once you operate it that way, it's also to the public. It's kind of like when you get a great front page sheet when you can put your own side fund guys to say. So when we're talking about paving, here's what you can look at. Yeah. You know, here's what it costs. So in some ways, it's it's certainly is simpler for anybody outside of it to understand. Is that being very clear? I think. So that was one big thing. The uh, salt again has 
been stable at 75,000 for three years if it stays yeah. at 75,000 in 25. So that I think he was under it last year, which would be cool. So that helps. He was, yeah, he was a little under in 24, uh, kind of a lot under, I mean, 11,000 under in 23, but under 24, he was also under in 24. Uh, so far under because mm -hmm. we're in that right. current year, but I think it will be. We've had a good year so far. And but these but these small storms, these small storms, yeah, gosh, yeah, more yeah. than yeah, they do than the big one. Yeah, it's see more. <laughs> it was there, there was a little difference though in how people apply coming up on one hundred yeah. the Morrisville Route one hundred. Yeah, totally white. No yellow lines. No white lines. Yes, snow on the banks. That went right. White went right. It's like there's a lot of salt on that road where you can't see yellow or anything. So that I don't know what they were doing. If they just went out like at the wrong time and just dropped salt and it stayed there. Yeah. I don't, Mark well, Mark doesn't do that. You can still see yellow lines when he's blind. Yeah. Salt. When I when I noticed in the last year, do is these rumble strips. They they, they hold it. They hold. It. Yeah. They hold. It. And then the water, when it starts melting, yeah, just down below my place, down going down through to the church, yeah. When it starts melting, they freeze right back over again. Yeah. I don't think them rumble strips are a good thing. Yeah, they're all over the place. And the only reason they're putting them in is one reason. They're saving lives. Huh? They're saving lives. Supposedly. Yeah. That was the intent. No, they're laying, they're putting in lanes to eleven feet. Well, it, it, yeah, it's to save lives. So people want to cross the road. That's what this is all about. That's it's a, it's a safety thing. Yeah. That's that's the whole push behind. That woman down there in Cambridge, she fought them. <laughs> they do take them out if people complain. But... <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, what else is in here? We got uh, the alternating lines in there. Those are the deduction lines that alternate with other lines up top. On the bottom half, garage expenses are just the actuals and projections and relatively flat lined all the way through the rest. Um, the projects line is sometimes confusing, Pete, and that's only confusing because some of these projects hit one, two or three years and we it's really hard to put one project in any one fiscal year. So when we have those large expenses, like if you're looking at actual 23 and you see, you know, a, a highway budget for projects that 158, and then you spend 778. All of those things are additional revenue coming in to offset expenses. So when you look at, and somebody may ask this question at town meeting day, they may say, hey, you know, I was looking at your revenue page. And if you look at your revenue page, you'll see uh, actual 23 at 3.7 million as revenue received. But your anticipated budget was 2.9. So there's 800,000. What? How did you guys get 800,000 more? And you'll say, well, we had expenses and grants to offset. So when you look at your last page of your expense budget with the total budget, you'll see actual 23 of 3.6 million, which is 700,000 more than budgeted for expenses. So in other words, you look at the expenses and find out you have 700,000 more than you budgeted. And then you look at revenue and find out you had 800,000 more coming in. So on the 10 mile look, it's a $100,000 surplus, even though your budget had almost 30% more spent than what you had budgeted. So that may come up, but that's how that generally is supposed to work. <laughs> you don't want to see a huge expense of 800,000 with the, the exactly the budget amount coming in because there's a big problem there, right? <laughs> so it's it's unusual with these capital projects. So one reason that Jen and I have been talking about moving capital projects to the reserves because they'll operate like mini general funds over here, and you won't have an actual general fund on you know mixed in with capital to have this kind of thing happen. But we're not we're not quite there yet. There's still a mixed bag of things that operate out of reserve and things that go in and out of general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on highway, or, uh, I don't know if you have any other changes on highway. Mark's looked at it a couple times. Um, 
Jen was looking at actual expenses on like salt and seeing it's around 70, thinking that we could take 5,000 off. Mark's perspective is it's still a wild card. We're still getting used to Brian yeah. and let's, let's let this play it out. Um, cost increases next year could it also take gets, out that 5,000 and it also gives us budget a little bit of wiggle room somewhere else. You know? Well, within that line, it does. Right. And then you guys use some savings on salt two years ago to do something extra. I forgot. What it was. Something. Yeah. So there's, so there is a little bit of that worked into that, but, all oh, the other one of my first meetings, I'll never forget it. <laughs> Tires cost that much. <laughs> yeah. So most of the line items in highway are expenses, anticipated expenses. Yeah. And anything that's you know conservative or a little bit under is not a um, not a lot. Uh, public safety is next, which overall is 4%. Um, sheriff was 3%. Fire, North High Park fire was 4%. Uh, relatively flat line, 27,000 more for all those services. Fire department is up eight percent on its own, but that's the water. It's all mm -hmm. water. So if we can get rid of water, that would help the budget and the overall budget, obviously. Because we we don't take twenty four twenty four thousand on the budget is about a half a penny, which it's pretty close to half a percent on the tax rate and stuff like that. Maybe 20, yeah, about 25 percent, I believe. 0.25. Anyway, so it, uh, it, I think Matt, you said there's multiple areas, it's mostly fire, library, and the town with the garage yeah. gets a yeah. bill, but they're not anywhere near fire. Fire, right? At this point, they're not. <laughs> it seems like there's no, there's no light at the end of the water charge. They are fixed to 3% increases for some number of years from the court order. Is that water charge because of they, they've got the bond to pay back? Or is that going to be the amount of money going forward regardless of the bond? That is the their bond and the legal fixed, fees. Yeah, that, oh, okay. that's, that's the fixed charge. They're supposed to be getting rid of legal fees in another couple months. Okay, the next but, couple months, years. No, the legal. Was, here. The legal field. Right. The legal is supposed to be done in twenty four, but the bot that main core of that base charge for water is going to go forever because there's bonds and other things. And I think they're starting to put away reserves, which they never did, so that's contributing to the base charge. So it's like a double payment, I guess, on capital. One to catch up for years of not putting money away, and then the other one is new charges, which are primarily related to bonds. That would be actually a good question for the village. It's like, can you project out like the next five years of water costs? <laughs> you know, it's like one of those exercises. Oh, the, 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 <laughs> well, we're fixed at three percent, except for you know yeah. bonding and everything else. But well, you know, they had another break not too long ago up there on the center river. Oh yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That water was black. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't do a boil, tell anybody to boil. I said it was all right. But I went down to my brother's, and it's like, wow. <laughs> Next one is health and welfare. Uh, ambulance service is up 4%. Animal control has the 5,000 in there for the kennel project. Um, really have no idea on exact costs. It's still early on that, but there is money put in there. Wolcott and Johnson S, and I think they're putting 5,000 in as a placeholder for the new relationship if it happens. Um, it would be good to go to voters at town meeting with more information, you know, just kind of an update, especially if you're getting close to signing a lease and all that other business. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen that quick, but it's only six weeks away. Yeah. 
Library salaries, I, I was looking at that again today, and I think the 85,000 might have been low because I don't remember library coming in for FY25 saying that giant, there wasn't a big increase. they weren't doing no. much, but no. I, so I, I'm thinking the 85 was the problem somehow, not the right. 96. So I, I ran the numbers a few different ways for library salaries for 2025 budget. It came up to 96 something and so did Jim, but for some reason that 85 was well, light so for some reason night that they, they did make a change you know they went from 81 to 85 and i think they made more changes they increased hours yes and wages yes. and i thought those hit 23 but maybe they should have been reflected in 24 and they weren't that's the only thing well they did they do their own appreciation too right which is they, that's they, not a, that's not they, a line do, item they do about double what you guys do but yeah but it's not a line item in that so i'm guessing that's it's in, in the salary line. In the salary line. Yeah. And then uh, they've agreed recently, after they made these changes a couple of years ago, to match the town employee percentage. So in this budget, we have 3% in the draft budget. And they said they would follow that going forward because they made some jumps mm -hmm. in prior couple of years. No, I'm running out of my words. We might want to talk to Jim Noyes one more time just to not yeah, have a not have an error discussion at town meeting that right. he's not ready for. We're gonna to try to do that. Um, try and do that today, but didn't have enough time. Recreation goes up just a little bit. Most of it's zeroed. I don't know why the lines We've aren't got printed. that back five hundred. It's all mowing. I'm sorry. Some of the lines aren't printing right, so I'm going to put it out. Not lying. Everybody is, though. Hmm? What are you making? Yeah. All the committee stuff was flat line for support, except for Green Update went down a little bit. Everybody buying big machines and all that. Mm -hmm. This is a new, new format for this page, which is your last budget page. We took the agencies that are member agencies, people we pay dues to, or people that give us money or grants or <clears throat> volunteer work for us as partners, and put them to the top of this list. They were mixed in before in the with other agencies that are not like that. Red Cross, we just send money and they come out for disasters, but it's not part of our town services like the member agencies. The courthouse tax, that must be like a... a that, that's our... That's state law. Yeah. That's just from like... It's the town share based on the population and the grand list or something like that. Okay. It's a formula. Split. Among, yeah. Okay. Among the rest of the town, yeah. What what's the tax for that? Is that for that's so they call it okay. Yeah, they call it the county tax. Yeah, okay. okay, I follow you. That uh, do I want? Yeah, it's just essential. It's operating. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Mandatory. I guess a good word. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, it's based on your plan. Yeah, you know, the conservation district district is only five hundred, but they do a lot of work with us on volunteers, Prospect Street, West Main Street. Um, he's looking at a new grant to help the post office in the village. They have a lot of ponding in their back parking lot right now. Everything on those outside agencies, so everything on the next line item is coming down. Is there ever a year where somebody doesn't come get those funds? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes those uh, mentor was the last one two years ago. I think Jeff Beatty said, due to COVID, we're not doing it. We're not going to ask for money. Okay. So that money went unspent. Right. So I think that's the first time that's happened as long as I've been here. Yeah. It was amazing. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Some people have adjusted by fraction, you know, like a few hundred dollars more, but these numbers have been the same for a long time within a few hundred dollars, almost all of them. Some people ask about the after school program, which is 
I think they collect from all the towns. Is that right? Some help for their after school? Well, that after school is specifically for the Hyde Park elementary, elementary school. school. So they apply for state grants, and some of their grants ask or require town contribution, not just school, their 5% or 10% or 15% or whatever. So they started asking us for this $2,000 quite a while ago. Um, but it's always been 2000 and that's what they consider as the town contribution when they apply for grants for their after school program. So it's only when they apply for grants or do they come get that money any? No, they get it every year and they are always applying for grants for those after school programs. Um, the after school program is pretty extensive in what they do during the school year, but also during the summer. Okay. Um, so that is part of the summer program. Yes, well. yeah. Um, on capital outlay at the bottom, that was a decision y'all made last meeting. I'm trying to say y'all more for your mm -hmm. new guys to get used to it. Stop. Y'all have us all say it. So those are flat line for your last discussion. Storm water went out uh, just because there was a uh, infusion and then it let sit. Those are really just grant matches for small projects and they're not funding projects, they're just funding the grant match for a bigger project. Libraries flatline. A lot of these are flatlining because they're sort of at their sweet spot, if you will. Libraries flat, fire equipment is flat. Um, sidewalk reserve went down a little bit. Uh, we may be increasing that. In future years, but right now the projects are slow, so we can take a break, but we may need to get that back up again. The highway capital reserve is the most significant one. That's way underfunded. I think the reality of that is what you do is ARPA, AB, and undesigned fund balance. They have Mark's trucks going to be 100 and what did you just say? 193. Um, you pay cash for that when it comes in to mm -hmm. avoid a loan on that and then get ready for a greater loan because you're going to need 400000 for that and you don't mm -hmm. have. So anyway, the, the capital pieces and how much you have in your reserves are need a lot of attention. 400000 Without the trade. Yeah, but you have some. We don't know if the trade is going to be. Hopefully it's 100000 but... <laughs> oh. Say what the hell I agree you're going to be made out of. It's really soft metal these days, too. You're getting less for what you pay. Right. So I was going to say where we make the hard decision of the longer road and repair costs. And all that stuff. I know. So it's like it's like that what you guys talked about earlier about task lists for highway and the cost of doing all those tasks and whether you spin those off and let contractors bite the repairs and capital loss. Of course, the contractor prices are through the roof. Anyway. Yeah. So we had, you know, we just got some bids back on the flood damage at Johnson, and it was, you know, we estimated, I don't know, like eighty thousand. It was like one hundred and forty thousand. Yeah, and all they're doing is carpeting and drywall. It's crazy. We're not even having none utilities. Right. Electrical still works. The heating it's just getting bodies in there to do the flooring, do the drywall. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. It's a, it totally would almost be worth it to hire a town carpenter yeah. and have that person on call for everything. Like, sort of like we did with the roof repairs over the, mm -hmm. at the garage. We had somebody come and do that uh, versus a whole big rebuild. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to replace the building. <laughs> so that's going to be so costly to do any of that stuff. So anyway, that's the story. That's the story. Overall, 7.62, most of it wages and benefits and water. Reserve balances will be squeezed on the last page uh, at some point. Hopefully, maybe not. Depends. That's your next page in the handout packet. 
Why maybe not? Space. <laughs> be close to get it on there. I think we should be there, whether it's its own page like it is. I think that should be there. Oh, no, is it like last? I know, but if there's not enough room down here on the bottom, I think that it should be up. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's as okay. I was I was saying. It may have to be on its own page. Okay, yeah. not, not, Sorry. Not the I misunderstood you. Sorry. <laughs> My THO report now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's thrown in somewhere. It's a big space. Now. <laughs> yeah, just looking at the spacing, I don't think that's because we added at least one fund. Uh, to that, so I don't, I don't know. Anyway, that's that's formatting, <laughs> not for tonight. Um, then we just have the warning, and I think this is King's your last version, I believe. Um, Come to the town lower level. Yes. We're not going to vote at the at the high school again. No. That was something we talked about, but not open stuff, right? Yeah, we agreed on that last year. We had some funny conversations about needing to push the voting machines up the road. When it doesn't fit in cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we through it? Look at that. Yeah, so any changes to the budget get put into approved or changed, get put into the warning to finish that with the $100,000 question on uh, reserve. That is it. it. Is I also included just to show you, give me a chance to read the highway report, select board report, and town administrator report. All those go in. What's a what's the printer copy deadline? If I tell you where you're gonna push it to that limit, no, oh, I I think it's almost done. Okay, good. So it's February eighth. That's too late. <laughs> I'm telling everybody the 29th so that I have time yeah. to format and get right. it to the proofreaders and get it back and PDF compile and all the fun stuff. Yeah, do it as soon as possible. I think we have the reports done now, right? Your checklist is done for reports from outside agencies. Yes, that was done. And so the service agency report is now done too. I'm just saying. Yeah. So that's close. I've got about half of everything. We have dedication and immemorial um, question, which comes up, and um, we have a resignation from cemetery. So, like on, on these on our select board notes. Oh, yep. So, like the one that kicks out at me real quick: we put thirty-three thousand dollars for fire equipment for the reserve funds for Airfax, but even got the grant. Do we ever put that in our notes, or do like does that matter? You know, what, what if somebody ever comes back and says, hey, you've got to prove $33,000. Because I don't know that we ever accepted the money from the town of Eden to, and how we memorialize that. You're right in terms of both. Right. Jane got it. She put it back in. But it was... Right. <laughs> right. I don't remember. They didn't take, they didn't take our money. Well... She paid, she made a check to the company for the air pack yeah. and they had processed it. Right. And then she told me we're waiting for that to come back. And okay, I, so I get... don't remember that coming back. Oh, yeah, I know it's, it's got it got it sorted out. Okay. Okay. So yeah. maybe maybe we'll have to make that a vote in the near coming meeting. That we accepted yeah, right. that we accepted the money and we took the money. I would think that we'd have to memorialize that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just don't know how that works. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we really need to get money back. I know. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, if so, if something ends up not happening, we take it out of the select order for the clearest thing. There you go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if it was voted, it didn't happen <laughs> because it creates that you're going to end up with a whole paragraph about what happened to nothing. Right. On in some type of audit later on, someone says, "Hey, where's that thirty? Yeah. 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 Where's the yeah, when you're approved up to 33 turns to zero, mm -hmm. that's hard to explain. Yeah. So just pull that. Yeah. Okay. You're right. That's these are just mo work. these are really just motions, so that's why the why it's in there. One of the other intents I think we probably should add to it is did, did we ever finish off our speed limit? No. <laughs> yeah, speed limits are um, almost ready to go. I mean, I, we did get over, they went out and did, they did just before the snow. It was like first week of December. It was really close. I mean, Thanksgiving week more testing for the speed study because oh, you wanted more of the traffic studies to yeah. right. finish up so yeah. that came in and then it takes them three or four weeks to get the reports back so that would be a good exercise for the new town administrator to walk through because that ordinance stuff is done all on a regular cycle and he's, i don't think he's done any ordinance stuff right. yet so it'd be a great thing to just get to know the roads that way <laughs> yeah yeah where are the roads right yeah Savannah, you still there? Yes. <laughs> Making sure you're not sleeping. No, not yet. Are you live streaming the game? Am I what? I didn't know if you were live streaming the Memorial Games. No. I guess I didn't know it was an option. I believe it was. This isn't anything we're gonna need to vote on tonight, right? This yes. Yeah, there's two two parts that Kim was just talking about the deadline for reports and final edits. So that's right. I, that's why I don't know that. That we, doesn't need to go we, back to another select board yeah. meeting unless you have if you have any edits, we'll just make them before they right. go to the printer. The town. It's really it's, it's, the town budget number gets used in the warning that you should sign at some point. Soon. Right. You have four of you here participating. So if you got to a point where you're good with the budget and the 5.0, then that information goes into the warning and I can get that printed out and have it signed whenever you all can sign it. Or <laughs> you can say, oh, we're not ready to do this. Can we do this? I don't know the meat. That's the other one.
So I guess we're I and again I sort of does Savannah have all this? Or what are we? I, I emailed it to her. Okay. And we all sit down for in mm -hmm. silence we're getting them. Yes. So I guess are are we doing the budget? I, I, I think we've made it as low as we're going to make it. We started at eight. We're down to five. We've we come up with a, so yeah. yeah we, we we came up with an option, a best option for pavement. I mean, and staying where we can be. Unless someone's got an option to make us more money, I don't. I don't see it. You know, in the immediate future, yeah. right? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. We, we're close to last year's. Yeah, five six was last year. Right. Town treasurer got any comments, suggestions? No, Jen, Jen and I talked about the budget as she was working through all the stuff she sent me wrong. So my comments were already included in Jen's stuff. Yeah. Well, that's Stranny, you got any questions about anything? Oops, there we go. Uh, no, this is my first year, but I think if you went from eight to five, that I don't know how you can go any more. Mm -hmm. Stuff going up, costs going up. I don't, I don't know where there could be cuts. Especially adding to the town. I mean, we we've, we've added employee positions. It's the, it was the goal. Like when I first got in here, this was a big conversation where I didn't understand it. Now I do understand it. I'm see, it's seeing it. Right. I mean, it's, I mean, obviously, we would have liked to have kept Brent to a 32 hour position, but 40 was had to, you know, for somebody with qualifications, we understand that has to happen as well. So it's. I don't know how anybody can expect. I mean, if you go to the grocery store, stuff's up. I mean, you have to expect prices to rise all across the board on everything. Right. So, are you looking for a motion? I guess so. It was right. The motion to, I guess it's approved the budget. You want to approve this one? You want a motion? You're the seasoned guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve it. Second. Um, I guess all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. We're um, one of the things we can do is. Getting around to reading Jen's um, recommendations. Well, wait. The one thing with the with the town report uh, with um, with uh, Judy Lanfear retiring from how long is she and the things that she's done for the town. So and and that's who you dedicate the town report to. Um, thinking to Judy would certainly be appropriate. And she's stepping aside from years and years of uh, doing it. I don't know. I don't know. She is. I think that's a good recommendation. That, that's his wife. Oh. Sure. Yeah. No, and, and she's been she's been in charge of the cemetery commission. Oh, she came here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she yeah, she's done that, and 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 again, done a really nice job. That's why I get again one of the awful things we've got twenty thousand committed to sort of help with a variety of fences and all that sort of stuff. I'm all about it. Yeah, agree. Okay. Do you think you can get a little write up on her? Or who could ask to do a nice little write up on her? You know, what she's done? Um, 
Let's think about. We'll think of somebody that could. Let me think about. Yeah. 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 We, I might be able to get some information from Kara. Yeah. Kara's working at the sheriff's department. Do you know? Gates. Yeah. Yeah. Just talked to her yesterday. Perfect. Yeah. He might even help write it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We always have talked about um, passing town officials and prior calendar year. Can't think. I, I think Norm Andrews was. Um, School, not town. I don't know about the school. Not while I was here, but maybe prior to me, I, I know I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. The tree may way back then. Maybe he was. Maybe he's a school auditor. Yeah. Maybe yeah, that's what he did. Auditor, yeah. Um, he was on our finance. Sorry, our investment committee or finance committee. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He was on the list with Gary. Yeah. But we never really activated. Well, we did. Revise the policy. He, he, he and Gary came in multiple oh. times and worked on revising the policy. Okay. Um, I think we need to go slow. I haven't been watching, so to speak. I think we can see if there's. Oh my God, what was his name? Hmm. Former board member just passed away, and his name is named right here. He lives up in the park. Oh. See? <laughs> okay, but it's not just me. Okay. Yeah. I, I can see his face yeah. standing right there. Yep. Ken Harvey will probably be able to tell you. Yeah. No way. You know. You know. You know. Yeah. It's Roger. 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 Barry. Barry. He yeah. was in last year's report. Oh, he was? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, I can't just remember. Yeah. A couple days to think. Right. Okay. So, everybody think. Thinking, Captain. Well, we started out talking about everybody dying. We're right now talking about people dying. <laughs> Don't want to forget anybody if you really wanted to do it because right. it's, it's going to be too late in a couple of weeks. Right. right. So, you know, well, that's what that gets us thinking about. Yeah, I think so. That's all. Okay. Okay. Lawrence. I'll make a motion to approve. Let's all get signed. Yeah, uh, me and Rolly signed this one. You haven't signed these ones yet. Right. Kept them separate though. You see this? There's some organization over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The second um you only need three signatures or then we need four. You only need three. I can. I was there today. <laughs> no, you're going to tell me that's a signature. That's a signature. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay, all in favor of accepting the warrant signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Um, then if you happen to stop now, we can sign them. Okay. <laughs> Normally I write it. I write it. Oh. Hey. Do we have, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me back my agenda. Anything else? We have um, Brent and Kim's furniture and we pick up tomorrow and they're probably hitting the road. When it should be up here next week. Um, I bought a house up in Bakersfield. Bakersfield? Yeah. Jeffersonville side of Bakersfield. Um, 
he said he was amazed at what people were asking for some places that were well, just, yeah. you know, he said that there were sheds, you know, and people say, oh, no, these are condominiums. So, <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> Our market is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. Um and and one of the things that I and we'll I can do it next year we can our contract with Ron is over at the end of this month. What I've talked to him and proposed is that it's sort of like that he'd be available for the next month with Whatever was getting here at the, you know, at the end, so he knows he's going to come in and do a few days with them and going over things, but then just sort of be there. So if something comes up, and Grant or Jan or anybody you just, you know, I have no idea what's the background of this. It would be really helpful to have a couple of hours of Ron's time to get the background and that sort of stuff, so that he just be available for that kind of thing. And if Jen is sitting here, just putting a side some money to, you know, to do that. So do we have to do anything like the extension of the contract or is it just added services? I think we we just, we were talking, we could just do the added services because we're not yep. looking at it being long-term. Yeah. And it's part-time. It's it's a... Well, it's just as needed, right? Yep. Yeah. So, it, you know, I I think, well, it's sort of, a, again, while well, it's certainly different from Brent coming in, but my sense was with Brent and... <clears throat> And, and again, until the till the end of the month, a couple of days with Ron, I think we'll get him in pretty good shape. And so he'll he'll the sort of person who's going to end up with your list of questions and then call Ron and get the information that he needs. I would I would think it would just come with like maybe we talk like a courtesy, like obviously if Ron sees us going way more than ten thousand, we just get the heads up. Okay. Right. Yeah. You'd probably do that, right? Yeah, we just move well. On. It's it's unknown. What I know it is unknown, but it's like unknown. just like a follow, like if we're at no, the end no, of next I, month and like, hey, no, I'm at forty five thousand. I thought it was ten. No, <laughs> yeah, I hear what you're saying, but yeah. the intent is a transition, right? So whatever the whatever the needs are, mm -hmm. I don't expect them to be much. I mean, right. we I've already started sending him stuff, right? that is critical to this time of the year. Mm -hmm. February, there's really not much to say. You, everything comes to a head at this meeting. Yeah. And he's missing all of the last, you know, six, eight weeks of yeah. fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been uploading him with the emails. By the way, when you get here, here's something you need to understand about the cycle of our little yeah. town. So he's he's not out of the loop. Okay. So, and I think he's going to bring some things down. As far as the cost goes, the contract ends... And there's no relationship on the first of February on a technical basis. Yeah. So probably for the record, you would you know, just think about anybody that questions it, that the board would have voted to have an on-call time material type agreement outside of a, a whole new contract. Yeah. So that's on the record as being agreed to by the board on that basis. As far as communication on the cost goes, I think anything that's above a phone call or a quick email, that's like, can you be here for a half a day? Yeah. That I'll tell Susan that I'm coming. So okay. before so, before it happens is what I'm suggesting, not yeah. after the fact. Yeah. But if if Kim calls or Jen calls and says, hey, where's this stuff? Blah, blah, blah. It's in the folder, whatever. That's off. That, that's not going to get charged. You know, so that's going to be just transitioning out help if you will. but if, if somebody says if jen says i've got a big audit problem we need you here with rhr for six hours that's that's going to have to be a invoice to right. and i'll say to susan here's the plan and just so susan's yeah, informed right. susan can share it with whoever she right. wants to but i think if that if that works for you guys i can do that but if i think for the record probably should have something that says yes we understand it ended on the 31st but we've also come to an agreement for you know time materials, which really is only hourly. There's no materials, but the concept is the same. So that's on the record. So I, I think there is a motion to to yeah. do that. Just to which realizing since we're going to skip next week, probably makes sense to do it this week because our next meeting after this will be February. Right. So what? 
Yeah, it would just be a, it would, it would just be a mo it would be a motion starting February first to hire Stone Shore for right, right. as needed for thirty days or something, and then if you want to do another thirty days, you do that. I, I hear what you're saying too. You don't want this open ended. Right, right. Yeah, but I think having Susan know before it's billed would be that exactly, and that's why I brought that up this. She Jen had it in her memo, so that's why I figured we. But that gets at your issue of what how it's going to be managed. I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so why don't we just start with up to 30 days and then hopefully we don't need anything That's after that. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that. I'll make a motion for that. Okay, you got that, Savannah? I did. Okay. Make the motion. You want me to make the motion to approve Ron? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I will make the motion. Up to 30 days. We're all... Up to 30 days. From so, February 1st. <laughs> yeah, from February 1st. Yeah, right. That's good. <laughs> from July 1st, we're just going to be, you know, <laughs> see how far in the hole we are. <laughs> In a second. Okay. Got a second? Second. Okay. Um, I'll continue to signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. <laughs> So we can be up to speed for like budget season next year. Well, this will have to be. <laughs> well, like I said, he's he has been involved with communications of the budget. Yeah. And I have no idea. And I told Jen this too. I said there's 10 different ways to get in a budget. Right. You guys are gonna have to sort that out. I would suggest probably in September having a budget planning type meeting so everybody's on the same page, including all the departments. Then after Labor Day, you know, is kind of where I started the budget process, sending that memo out and say, yeah, we know we've been doing, but here's what we're going to do. And let all department has had plenty of time to absorb whatever those changes are. Or it could be exactly the same. Post a calendar, meet with everybody individually, town administrator produces a budget, meet with the select board a few times and be done. I have no idea. I, I, well, he'll probably come in with, again because he's had plenty of budget building experiences. So it'll be, you know, he'll come in with his ideas. Yeah. And Jen certainly should be in pretty good shape at this point for, you know, for knowing that stuff. Jen, Jen will have her own suggestions yeah. too because, yeah. you know, she's yeah. just barely getting into this year's budget really with trying to figure out how to do it. And the best example I could give you is uh, the back and forth we had with Mark on the SALT budget. So we had 75,000 for the last two years, and now we're looking at the third year, you know, on that paid on the expense. And Jen literally looked at expenses, mm -hmm. not considering the market, the, the potential market changes, the, yeah. the ideas that Mark has had 5,000, maybe plus or minus as a as room to move. And she was recommending a reduction of like 10,000. Of course, he's getting better and better at that Brian machine. So that cost has to go, you know, right. not considering those other softer budgeting. Or, or weather. Yeah, so all that stuff. So yeah. Mark was mixing all that together, which was not quite how Jen was looking at it. And maybe opposite of what Brent says. Brent says, why do we have a Brian machine? It's going to sell that thing. <laughs> no Brent. idea. Brent. No, he just showed you just Brent. the new guy. Oh, oh right. Brent and Brent, yeah, Brent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Brent being in charge, that's what Kim was talking about. You were making year. a new, like a next year's budget, yeah. Take that away. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? I don't think so. I think we're good. Justin, ju Justin just sent the meeting minutes. Right. Yep. We don't need to approve the meeting minutes from last week. Yeah, because I haven't read them. Oh, so I, I, haven't, I haven't read them. So I haven't seen them. Right. Yeah. That's the worst. I think that's everything. I think we're good. I'm out. So how long are you gone for? I think eight days. Are I think don't quote me. Yeah, we're still being recorded. Yeah. Okay, so I guess motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Thank you for thank you for tuning in here. Night, everybody. Night. Matt, have fun.